Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and uh, I actually have a small additional update that I need to add on to the video that I released a little bit earlier about the 200 million downloads worldwide celebration. As you see here on the back of my screen, we're on the official website for uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle from Bandai Namco. Um, let's see, over here we have all this information for login bonuses. We already went over the 2 million Dragonstone Dual Challenge, Dual Challenge 2. Uh, the Special Summons and Dokkan Festival and Legendary Challenge Campaign. We actually have more information than I thought. Uh, I didn't get to go over that, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, first one is the Bulma Youth we already had talked about. How you get her on the login bonus. You get special medals to Dokkan Awaken her. Um, you're going to be able to go and get her to Super Attack 10 and get all the dupe pads unlocked for her. And you're going to be able to get her up to um, fully maxed out Dokkan Awakened at... 10,000 attack, 7,500 defense, and 10,600 HP. All again, I'll be doing a full video overview on her in the future, so stay tuned for that. Um, Dokkan World Battle, who will be Mr. Wright, is here, so essentially you're going to have to run the event with her in order to get one of these two cards. Uh, the stats between the two of them are exactly the same, so, I mean, it doesn't, it's really, it's, it's also kind of weird how they, like, threw the youth bomb that's, like, 16 here to two grown men that are in their late 20s it's kind of creepy but that's exactly what's going on um this is where we're gonna go for the win or lose uh, we all want vegeta because he's he has how we win and i'm just a loser uh time's clear they update this every single day at 1703 a.m pst during the competition so you can come back to the actual website i'll leave a link in the video below in the description 200 million Dragonstone Duel Challenge 1 to celebrate the 200 million downloads worldwide. So each player can run up to a maximum of 20 Dragonstones daily missions. That's what we talked about in the last video if you haven't checked it out. There's going to be a card popping up. There's going to be a link in the description below. And there's going to be a template at the end that has the link to that video. So make sure you go ahead and watch that. I go really in-depth on the 200 million uh, celebration uh, uh, bonuses that we're getting in events. Uh, the dual, the Dragonstone Dual Challenge number two. So this is what I was wondering and I didn't know about. Uh, essentially what happens here is anybody who has the game and hasn't come back or logged in, it doesn't tell us how long you have to be inactive to come back. But um, it, people who come back to the game after not playing for a while, uh, and you add the retweets, I guess, to the JP versions, that's JP comebacks versus the retweets on the Twitter, and global comebacks plus the likes on Facebook, and that will become tallied up and the winner when we hit each of these marks the assumption for this is that for every single time we hit one of these marks over here uh then we're gonna go and get additional bonuses it says over here the first two are already set for 350,000 energy 700,000 energy uh and then we're gonna continue to go all the way down uh, until we get up to 200 million dragon stole stones again so this might just be specific to the version so if that's the case we'll, we will get additional days with an additional 200 million dragon stones i believe it's per version of the game so that's awesome so that's good to know um the dokken fest begins this is the um special summon i guess uh 24 festival exclusive dokken characters nearly all the previous dokken festival exclusive characters will make an appearance for every 50 dragon stones used between um, March 26th to July 22nd, players will receive one 20 million global downloads uh, summon ticket. So, guys, this looks like it's for global. So, um, yeah, because this is for English. It doesn't say anything about being JP specific. And as you see up here, it doesn't have any of the characters that are actually from the 120 leads. So, it looks like we're getting it as well. Um, that's pretty freaking badass. I'm super stoked about that. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. So we're going to be doing that, and that's that's just freaking phenomenal. Uh, number five is the Dual Dokken Fest banner. And number six, Legendary Challenge Campaign Acquire and Train LR Goku for a Super Deluxe Reward. So this is for LR Goku. This is the one that actually inspired me to make this a secondary follow-up video. Acquire LR Goku, Dragonstones times 50, just for having him. We don't know if you already having him is going to give you those 50 dragon stones. Probably. I don't think they would do that to you, but that's probably going to be a thing. Level up LR Goku Super Attack to level 20. Um, you get 10 Elder Kai's for doing that. And then apparently you also get all the potential orbs for LR Goku. So I don't know if that means... Um, it's probably going to mean you just get a whole bunch of tech orbs. And I'm not going to use it on LR Goku personally. I'm just going to keep those tech orbs for future characters. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh, uh, the last one, also what I was talking about, has been confirmed. Prime Battle Event Transcendent Warriors open every day at half stamina course, co uh, cost. So what essentially that means is um, all of the characters in the strike events are half stamina. 
uh, the 100 cost limit for all Super Strike events is removed. You in we increase the rank experience you gain from it, increase character experience, character drop rate is increased, and we drop twice the Awakening Medals if you're looking to uh, to yeah, Doken Awaken them. Now, me, uh, my opinion on this is, if you already have all of them, look at some of the characters that you have their versions of um so essentially like uh for tn there if you have the ssr tn or for piccolo for an ssr piccolo the ones that you're trying to get uh, uh to super attack 10 for instance go ahead now this is your perfect chance because there's the hunter cost limits gone you could grind out those damn awakening metals so freaking fast and you'll be able to get them up to uh, super attack 10 really really quick i mean me personally i'll probably do it for xeno trunks pike definitely pike on guys if you pulled the pike on this is the time to do it this is the time to do it for Pike Wuhan. I just freaking thought about that. Awesome. Um, so Pike Wuhan is really going to be my number one pick to go ahead and do that for. I have both of them. So that's it, guys. Uh, I just wanted to quickly get this out there for you. Freaking stay hyped. Stay tuned. Hit that sub button if you're new here. And I'll catch you guys later in the comments below.